Hello and welcome back to Vanilla TV. We're here for the second map of this E2FTL Season 15 powered by Blackout Gaming Premiership Division fixture. It is uh, Week 5's Crack Clan against Last Man Standing and we're going on to Koth Viaduct here. This is a map I have casted the least and played the least. But I think we're going live, Mia. Talk me through it. What's going to happen here? Right, so you have LMS again on the red and CC on blue right now. Viaduct is a map that isn't really playing in six as they can see that actually Mighty Me got to mid slightly faster and Brago's opting for a more passive down man roll going up through cliff instead. You can see White Glow there flying, surfing rockets. T Mac goes down, Warhol Yes yeah, running sniper it seems. White Glow goes down, Ips goes down, Forsaken goes down, Brago and Samsy goes down. So that is a lot of casualties and LMS did get the better out of that one even though the medic went down and so this means that two nuts will have about an 80% uber advantage right now he's building quickly in spawn with his team. Yeah, did well to get out there. Obviously the clocks are ticking down right now. If you are unfamiliar with this game mode, i.e. if you're European, then it is the the team to run their timer down to zero that wins. And right now we see Uber coming in from Crackland on the left hand side. It looks like a bit of a feel Uber already. It's just about to fade. And Brigo and a team out there. Wow. Just totally messed up. Yeah, uh, so... Yeah. Ips was jumping behind and then I hit my mouse against my keyboard and clicked off to another random player but it looks like Cry Clan have taken it back with So part of the meta game of this seems to be building in spawn with your scout. I had my own scrim on Viaduct last week and it seems that if you don't have the point you just go back to spawn and build your scout because the distance from spawn to mid is so small and White Glow here now has about a 40% uber advantage and LMS seems to be wanting to take back the point. Indeed, White Glow does pop there, and a lot of CC are being crushed out. Brago goes down, although Sickless and War goes down as well. However, there is currently no Medic and only one scout up for CC. Or they can see T Mac there behind enemy lines, trying to get the kill on White Glow. And but he's surfing like a boss. It's really quite amazing. Oh, Tavik finishes him off. Tag team by Tavik and T Mike there. T Mike running away with that escape plan. <laughs> he's just trying to get chased down by this scout. That is sickless going in there for the cheap frag and T Mike, but he's got protection. He's got friends in Crack Clan that are going to keep him alive. And it's just swinging back and forth here. That was a good Uber from White Glow and uh, Forsaken and Mighty Me pushing through there and cleaning up. Got a lot of frags in Crack Clan. I don't think they were expecting that. Got caught with their pants down just a little bit, and right now it's another crack clan advantage. They're going to hold close here. Yeah, just they're as... opting for the aggressive hold on Cliff right now because it was almost a wipe there from LMS. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this entails, it means that the demo holds on Balk and the pocket and the medic holds on Cliff, whilst everyone else either holds mid or left. Although you can see Forsaken there getting the bomb in into T Mac and then gets taken down by Tabeek. Yeah, I mean if you hold close like this up near the choke points it, it makes it difficult for them to send out bombers to try and force you. They're sort of forced themselves to commit to the push and the Ubers have been traded here. It's White Glow and Mighty Me against Ips and Two Nuts but Ips jumps behind and in comes Brigo. Ips has already gone down though that the follow up from Crack Clan wasn't good enough. Ips was trying to work the flank there but ended up finding the entirety of LMS and got taken down. Now it's Two players down a piece, but Cry Clan are losing players left, right, and centre of me. It looks like they're gonna have to give up middle again. Yeah, this is really messy, but you can see two nuts are getting chased down by Sickless, whilst T Mac takes down the enemy Roma. So right now you've got LMS with only two up this time, and CC with their respawns should be pushing onto mid right now. Are they gonna do it? It's a bit risky. Yep, they are. Yeah, they know they've got the health advantage here with their medic up. White Glow just spawned as well, but two nuts is all middle healing his players. That's going to make it tough for the Russians to push through that, or the formerly Russian Russians. And uh, we see White Glow is going to buff up War here. He's trying to angle himself for a bomb. They might commit both soldiers here. Forsaken and War may go in together. They're just uh, War does the double jump. He's going to jump a third time, but gets stuck on the rock. Unlucky, bro. Yeah, unfortunately a lot of his jumps there seem to be failing. You can see Brago there putting some spam down into Lunchbox right now. Ubers are about even with about 60% each, but LMS seem to be bleeding out right now. 
to uh, CC players, although Tariq himself also goes down. This is a very DM orientated map, and at the moment there's only 2 minutes, 10 seconds left on the timer for CC, and the Uber is popped there from my team. Yeah, that's an interesting Uber there. They actually used the Uber to go and kill the players on the flank now. They've dropped back to middle, but White Glow's gone down, Forsaken's gone down, but it's. Oh, CC are losing a lot of players at the same time, and the LMS have committed to this point and got that cap. There's a minute 30 left though for Crack Clan to come back into this and Two Nuts has only just died, that means White Glow's going to have a little advantage on him. Might we see some crits here? Might they try and swing it that way? Yeah, I'd like to see some crits, uh, especially on such a map. I, No, he was holding using crit screen, but he did switch back to Medigan, which was kind of fortunate. Um, this is a very DM oriented map and right now CC just need to cap the point just once to be able to win this round. Looks like CC are going for the dry push here, they're going in without Uber, they found a heavy on the flank there on the left and he just got destroyed but T-Mac has gone down, meanwhile Rico sick this, oh my go go down, everybody goes down in the blink of an eye there and crack can get the point just to add insult to injury, it doesn't matter that they just destroyed everybody, they're gonna cap too. Yeah, that, that was a really decisive push there by CC, they knew exactly what they had to do and they knew that they had a whole minute there to cap the point. So they were just taking it easy and I have a feeling LMS were just on edge right now. You can see um, LMS there taking a roll up through left hand side. T-Mac is by himself with, um, <laughs> with uh, White Glow though and he does get taken down with a derpy melee battle. Unfortunately, about three people are down for LMS right now. Yeah, Crack Clan looking strong on this point. They've just capped and they've got the man advantage. We're going to see War switch it up from Roamer to Sniper. He's going to try and get the pick that way. But the position is good here from Crack Clan. You see Two Nuts just hiding in the house. Like You can't get sniped there. You can't really get bombed either. As long as his team give him plenty of information, it's a pretty strong position to hold there. It would probably be better for War to switch it up back to Rumor at the minute because he's not going to be able to do much with the scope right now. Yeah, you can see Ubers are about 100% each right now and War is still on that sniper deck trying to take hot shots at the team. The Ubers are exchanged and there is a fight going around on mid. The red Uber gets flashed around though and it's not getting out. Um, War there gets a body shot onto Vix, takes him down. You can see t Max there trying to get the bomb and does get the bombing on White Glow. Well, it's Mighty Me takes him down with a pipe, takes down its with a pipe, and Brago takes down Forsaken. So we're seeing four up right now for LMS, whilst there's only two up. So that was quite a successful push. Two Nuts also gets taken down. So White Glow will have a tiny bit of advantage. Yeah, I mean, if you want to theory craft a little bit there, maybe Bomb and White Glow wasn't what was needed from T Mike. He was probably the person that should have been trying to put pressure. Onto War, who was formerly Rumor switching up to Sniper, but I mean, uh, he just pretty much gave him free reign. We saw Tafik go down there, that's like uh, a key player for Crack Clan. Tafik puts out a lot of damage, especially from that position where they hold, they use their scouts as anti air. As soon as you know, you're missing a scout, suddenly bombs become a lot more effective, or you can just sort of walk forward. But you scouts that on that rock is powerful. You can see that uh, Reiko. Okay, well, they gets another body shot on Tavik and Reiko, who has gone heavy, takes down Samsi. So there's absolutely no scouts here for CC. And they're doing a tactic where you build in spawn and you just suicide plays out to try and get a pick. So at the moment, Two Nuts is on 80% Uber, whilst White Glow is holding 100% with his team. Yeah, this seems to be the way it's done in North America, you know, you, the medic will just stay back and they'll send in those big suicide waves, but they've already lost two before they can even get out. And Two Nuts ducks back inside as he watches She Likes It Rough get mown down right in front of him. And now they're going to sit back and spawn here. We see Tavik is sniping though, so I guess they're going to try and counter snipe onto War and Rico, the heavy and sniper here, who are just uh, giving Crack Clan a lot of problems, I'm surprised to say. Yeah, Viadek is a really sniper friendly map and War is taking, doing a lot of damage right now, delaying a lot of areas. Oh my god, he gets a mid-air headshot on Brago! That was amazing! Um, and yeah, no soldiers and no dumbman up for CC right now. Tafik is uh, all alone here out on the cliff. 
did have a shot onto the medic but didn't land it and now he's going to go down there's only 60 seconds left and Crack Clan are going to be getting a little bit frustrated here that they've given away so much time here to LMS hopefully they can hold it together obviously I'm biased Crack Clan till I die but right now we're going to see Brago get Ubered in here Mia talk me through it Okay, so Uber's eye exchange right now. Red Uber is flash around, whilst the blue Uber is focused mainly there on Brago. Who's taken there, tries to get a bomb and gets taken down. Ward gets taken down as well. However, that heavy Brago is doing a heck of a lot of damage on mid right now. And such a tight map does finally get taken down by Kavik. Mighty Me goes down as well as Sickless, so only White Glow up right now. And that was pure regression there from CC. Pops the Uber early to avoid bleeding out like they did on their Sissy pushes earlier which worked out pretty well for them. That was a critical pick there from Sickless onto Two Nuts, just right at the end of that little push. He's going to be frustrated that he didn't have the protection or it wasn't spotted, but only one player alive and he manages to kill your medic. That's heartbreaking. Yes, it, it kind of is. Oh, um, I don't want to drag up any bad memories here, you know. I know you play medic too. But it, yeah. it's tough. It's tough playing it, medic. Life is tough. <laughs> Oh, so T Mac there tries to get a bomb in on White Glow. It's crit, really it's crit for two nuts. Off. Are you <gasps> seeing this? I. Not yet, he's. He's gonna crit soon. Sticky Trap there takes down for a second. White Glow drops! Well, drops a crit. To a body shot from Tavik, who then also takes down Mighty Me. So Tavik there with the body shot, taking down two most important classes on the other team. And with. There's less than 60 seconds left. Wow, War there takes down Tavik and Sandy, so no scouts. So you're seeing a lot of sniper action on this map, doing a heck of a lot of work. And CC have about 40 seconds left on the clock to uh, LMS is 22. And they do seem to be in a good position to hold this for a bit longer. White Glow switched back to the medding on normal Ubercharge. Two nuts is still on crits, but he's nowhere near getting it yet, and he's been left alone for a second. Brigo does come out just in the nick of time. And two nuts will survive this one, but they've given up the point. There's 20 seconds left. They need to get on that cap uh, pretty soon. They're trying to move forward. White has gone down as well. No medic here for LMS. That means they are forced to make some desperate play here. War is up top. He's moving around onto the gantry, onto the little balcony here. He's trying to find that air. He gets two nuts. Nice from War. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to finish out, but I'm feeling confident for Crack Clan. Who knows? Oh my god, White Glow there with an overdose on mid, he's gone full like uh -oh. crazy battle medic and he does actually deal damage and force out CC. I don't I don't even know, <laughs> but CC are too up right now. The point is being capped back and that is a very close round to LMS. That was some crazy medic action there from White Glow. Actually worked, distracted CC enough for the rest of LMS to push in and pick them off. I but... jinxed it, you know, I called it too early. Curse of the caster. <laughs> I said CC were gonna win, no problem. And then they lose. Uh oh! Sorry it's guys. what you get from being biased, mister. <laughs> <laughs> Just a team might get totally denied there by three stickies on the wall from Mighty Me. Uh, nice prediction there, and already rumor threat is down for both teams. War also down, and the deathmatch battle seems to be being won by Crack Clan so far. She li likes it rough, goes down all alone in middle as everybody else from Crack Clan. Clack Clan, oh my god, hides behind the rock <laughs> and heals up. Can't help myself, sorry. So, with CC managing to push out a lot of LMS right now, but um, LMS, even though they don't have the point, are opting for a really aggressive hold. You can see White Glow there with 100% Uber, and they're just gonna push on to mid, and CC are just letting them have it right now. Two Nuts gets forced. Um, because Breaker was on an incredibly low health, flashes it round, and it's probably going to recapture a point, although a lot of LMS plays didn't go down. And Scout onto two nuts again! Oh, he gets saved. Sickless not, not able to land that fatal meat shot this time, but Rico is doing work on the right hand side, takes down Brigo, and still snipers up both teams. It's Tweak against War, but Crackland are going to move forward and get this point, I think, Mia, or yeah. defend it at least. Again, Uber's about even, although Crack Clan seem to be definitely more dominant. They're, they've got the point. They've got pretty secure position. They haven't done the aggressive hold, but you can see LMS here trying to do a soft push from right side right now. And they do have a lot of catch time on the point. T Mac goes down to Sickless. Fonseca goes down to a body shot from Tavik. Brago goes down to Sickless as well. 
And Tariq, uh, body shots mighty me. All her, yeah, gets to be as well. That's been really messy right now, but at the moment, LMS are only two up, and two nuts pops the Uber. Um, but White Glow right now has 100%, and he's sitting in spawn, ready to push his team back in. Yeah, I'm not sure why that pop came in. It was maybe just fear of the sniper. I know I'm, I'm prone to that one myself, but they have Ubered and basically given away the advantage. Handed it over to LMS here, now pushing in with that charge. Crack Clan are all. Pretty much within range, they're gonna lose Brigo. There's a soldier behind him, that's T Mac, but they'll be lucky to keep two nuts alive here. He does manage to bag out the spawn, but that means Tivik is all alone. He may go down here. Two nuts yeah. is unsure what to do. He's gonna come out again on that right hand side, but he's actually found his team and he will survive. It looks like everybody else died. Yeah, what right happened? now, yeah, LMS went uh, five down. That was a really messy push in there to get the point. I, I saw something really awesome which was Mighty Me juggling Brago and getting an air pipe on him and then, I don't know, LMS died right after I gasped that how awesome it was. Yeah, I saw him get beasted too. Maybe they should have been happy just to take the point and a couple of frags there. Now we're going to see a suicide from LMS but uh, Forsaken got stunned against the wall and Mighty Me didn't get anything done. Samzy, aka she likes it rough picking up both frags there. You can see two nuts here with a Ma well, it was a massive uber advantage, but now it's about 20% uber advantage. He seems content to hold behind the point and play defensive. And there's about 60 seconds left on the timer right now for CC with a whole a bit over two minutes for LMS. So it's looking to be a more dominant round from them. Uh, the uber is popped there from White Glove onto point. See, uh, Two Nuts uh, holds it for a lot longer. Pops back, Tivik goes down, Reiko goes down. Samzy goes down, no scouts up for CC right now. Ooh, that was sickness on to two knots again there in the middle, but Epps comes in with a shotgun to save. Uh, whenever these Ubers are going down, two knots was unable to save Tweek that time. Obviously Tweek's playing on the left. It's hard to get over there. But Forsaken then picked up a frag as well. I mean, they probably should have just turned around there, Crackland should have turned around and killed those players behind. They didn't need to push forward, they didn't need to make anything happen with the Uber, they just needed to hold their position on middle. But now we see Brigo gets picked off by Cyclist, just pressing W and Mouse 1 there. Taking down that demo man and Crackland are three players down with L LMS getting time on the point here. This would be impressive if they came back from a two minute deficit. Yeah, oh, Forsaken there taking down two nuts gives White Glow about a 30% advantage. So, but however, Crack Clan can cap back this point at any time. They've got a whole two minutes to capture this point and win the round. So things are not looking too good. And at the Sounds moment, on to White Glow. Oh, he just ran in totally unspotted there. There was no soldier with White Glow. He didn't have that instant protection that rockets offer. And uh, Mighty Me didn't react fast enough. He did get the frag eventually, but Samzy, she likes it rough doing work right there. And the point does get capped back by CC. There was some contesting there by Reiko, who did manage to kill two people with as a heavy behind point. And as you know, it's incredibly effective on this map in sixes. But yeah, abusing that map geometry, just hiding behind there. So right now it's two one up to Crack Clan, and you can see T Mac there going for some mad wall. And wow, war there, sort of surfs and scopes and body shots T Max. That was kind of amazing. A bit of lag on the server, but at the moment, CC have got best positioning. And unfortunately, White Girl goes down to Tabeek right now. So no heals up for LMS, and that is complete white. So this point should be capped pretty easily right now by CC. Yeah, uh, Crack Clan showing no mercy there. That was a brutal six down, and we see Sickless is going to spawn a spy. Let's see what he's up to. Spy is really, really dodgy on this map. Like, you could do a lot of spy action because it's so tight and there's just so many little flag groups. Forsaken there goes down to some sticks by Brago. Wall goes down to some pipes from Brago. Sickness has spotted. <laughs> Came in as a third scout, two scouts standing there like, hey, what, what's going on here? <laughs> Check out White Glow though, he's going to be running that crits creek. We're going to see some critical action very soon. It looks like War wants to initiate first, try and get that force off before they push in. Two nuts, serves one rocket. The second doesn't connect. He will survive and he's still got that uber charge. So if his reactions are fast enough, he will be able to save his team from the impending Kritzkrieg doom here. 
Yeah, it looks like the Crit's Creek is now top there onto Mighty Me. Doesn't get anyone though. The Uber is popped back for CC. No CC players go down. And five elements go down. So that that was definitely oh, not the shot. best Crit's Creek. And a massive air shot there from Ipsilon to Forsaken. And uh, is this Sickless? Yes, of course it's Sickless who thinks it's a great idea to run in. One against six. Uh, I was saying in the pregame, I don't think they caught on this train, but Sickless is dumb. Yeah, I said it. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? But he has managed to get a lot of uh, important picks in both maps so far, so yeah, maybe I Crack Clan just need to smarten up a little bit, expect the uh, the unexpected. Yeah, I think LMS are getting a bit desperate right now because although the second round which showed one was very close, CC are looking very dominant here on this map where DM is so important. And CC's teamwork and the wow, Warher, yeah, there takes down Brago with a headshot. That was it comes really to nice. <gasps> crits there on to my team. He takes down Ips, does a lot of damage, but doesn't take down and it takes down Samzy as well. It's currently two. Two Nuts and T Mac up right now, and they're just sitting in spawn, staying safe. And Two Nuts has 100% Uber and can push back for this point at any time. Yeah, this is a tough situation. Like, really, Two Nuts doesn't want to Uber here because he knows there's going to be crits uh, coming back against him. He wants to hold it on as, as long as possible. He doesn't want to Uber on entry here. He wants to try and milk it as much as he can. But now there's a sniper on the field, too. It's tough as a medic here. But if they can cap this point without using Uber, they're in a great position because Uber always beats crits yeah. if you position yourself well enough. But he does get forced here. Big bomb in from Forsaken. He is going to jump out, pick up that med pack, that lunchbox, and he might even get all the way out to last as well. Well played. Brings out the escape plan and he survives to fight another day. And Crack Clan know there's going to be crits coming in, but there's a bit of a player disadvantage here. The numbers will be in shortly though. Yeah, you can see that the crit set gets instantly denied. They spot out White Glow and Mighty Me really easily. And it was about, I think it was like four people jumped onto them. And they don't manage to get anyone because of all the rockets just flying at them. And right now, LMS are only two up uh, with Reiko and uh, Tickless, who then goes down himself. Um, but yeah, you can see Two Nuts here with a massive 80% uh, Uber advantage over. Is White Glow still running crits? Yes, he is still running crits. It's interesting that uh, whenever the Russians crits, whenever LMS crits, they don't really protect their medics so well, but right now Uber popped off here from two nuts just to make sure that Crack Clan can hold on to this middle, and it, it mightn't be a done deal yet, actually, because Uber's faded and they haven't managed to pick up enough frags yet. Brigo is going to team up though with this scout who is behind enemy lines, that is Tavik coming in to do work. Everybody's looking skyward at Brigo, Tavik's coming in, landing those meat shots and she likes it rough, is going to follow up as well. Crackland will surely take this point back and it looks like the Russians have almost also dropped the player. They dropped two actually. It's over. Yeah, that was a GG there and right now it's 3-1. to one. Uh, That's how it finished there for CC versus LMS. I'm gonna ask a dumb question, but is that the, is that it? Is uh, that the rules? <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's first to three. I I, I haven't played my Viaduct official yet, and I um. Four, three, you, victory. Yeah. Yeah, three. I think it is. It, Warden says yes. It's, it's best of five. So uh, I guess I'll ask you for your final thoughts here, Mia. How did you feel that went? I well, this match was. In my opinion, incredibly well. I guess everyone can really agree that it was incredibly one-sided towards CC. Um, people were predicting it, and I guess CC's teamwork and you know deathmatch skills did bring them out on top. I have a feeling LMS could have kind of contested Viaduct, but some of the stuff they did was really messy and uncoordinated, so it didn't really work out. Maybe if they had their main roster. Yeah, I actually thought there was quite a few impressive individual performances from LMS like War. Did a great job in process with those jumps and sniping as well. He seemed to be uh, actually causing Crack Clan a few problems. Um, like individually, they all got a lot of important picks, but as a team, they just couldn't compare to Crack Clan. They just seemed to be much uh, better prepared, but I would say that anyway. I guess we should wrap things up. 
This has been Vanilla TV with Admirable and suddenly Star, Mia and the Warden on the camera. This has been the ETF2L Season 15 powered by Blackout Gaming. Premiership Division Week 5 fixture uh, between Cryclan and LMS. You just saw Cryclan take the second map Viaduct 3-1. to one. That's going to be a full 6 points for Cryclan. Thank you. Good night.